Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of Able Further Maths. Here we're looking at how we would find the shortest distance between a point and a line, obviously given that the point is somewhere else other than on this line. So we can answer questions from exercise 9f. So 9f has a, has a large series of videos on it. I'm going to break it down into small sections and this here is the first section. So what we're looking at here is how we would work out the shortest distance between a point and a line and what we're going to use is the direct line from the point to the line if it is at a shortest distance will meet the line at a right angle if it was at any other angle then we could obviously find a Pythagorean shorter distance uh, that made a little right angle triangle with it so the shortest distance between a point and a line if you draw a line that's representing that distance is always going to meet the line that you're finding the shortest distance between at a right angle and that's really important and then if when that follows we're going to obviously use the rule that if theta is 90 degrees a dot b is equal to zero where this vector here that's a and this direction vector down here that is b okay so this is the graph this is the um, question that we're going to have a look at here x minus 1 divided by 2 y minus 1 divided by minus 2 and z plus 3 divided by minus 1. That's the equation of the line. The point is 1, 2, minus 1. So calculate the shortest distance between these two points and lines. So that's the coordinate for the point. That's the equation of the line. It's much easier to pull out your values that you're looking for and then substitute them into the vector equation of a line. I think most people prefer the vector equation of a line um, so if you want to start with converting it into a vector form then that's a good idea I think. So the shortest distance will be when the vector a to l is perpendicular to the line l so what we need to find is a to l in general form. So what we're going to have a look at first is how do we, how do we get from, line, from position a to the line l and the way we do that is the line L subtracts the coordinate A. So what do I mean the line subtracts the coordinate? Well, if you think about it, this, these first two cells in each row here, they have come from the vector equation of the line. So 1 plus 2 lambda, 1 minus 2 lambda, minus 3 minus lambda. And then we've subtracted our coordinate for A. So subtract 1, subtract 2, and subtract minus 1. That would effectively be an add 1. And work this out, and we get 2 lambda, minus 1 minus 2 lambda, and minus 2 minus lambda. That is how we get from A to any point on the line given a specific value of lambda. Okay, so now, now that we've got the direction for how we get from A to L, we can just now use the dot product with the direction vector only of the line. So this here is effectively A dot B equals zero so a whoops a dot b equals zero so this line here that's vector a this direction vector here that is b so do the dot products and expand your brackets and when we solve that we get lambda equals minus four over nine so what we can now say is that for the specific value of lambda equals minus 4 over 9, the distance from A to L is going to be at its shortest. So what we can then do is substitute in lambda equals minus 4 over 9 into the vector from A to L. Lambda equals minus 4 over 9 is when it's at its shortest. And then all we need to do now is just find the magnitude of this vector here. So the top value squared, add the second value squared, add the third value squared. <coughs> and we get square root of 29 over 3. <coughs> so that there is the shortest distance between the point and the line. Um, a subpart question could be find the Cartesian equation of the line perpendicular to L that passes through A. So that is basically what is this equation here and the way we would answer that we will start by finding a vector form for the line perpendicular to L passing through A so we know that it's going to pass through um, 1 2 minus 1 
uh, all we need is to you we need the direction vector we just calculated from a to l and we're going to use lambda equals minus 4 over 9 so the direction vector is going to be um, this one here where we substituted lambda equals minus 4 over 9 into it and this is what we got so we we've, we've seen this before that was what we used in part a so this here is the direction vector from a to l uh, so the vector equation can use point A and this direction vector. So now that we've got a coordinate and a direction vector, this is the equation of our line from A to L. But what we can do is we can always um, scale and multiple the direction vector because it will still go in the same direction at that point. So if we times through by minus 9, we get something that looks a little bit more pleasant to the eye. So 1, 2, minus 1, plus lambda, lots of 8, 1, 14. Okay. So that's the answer to that question then. So, oh, we've also got to put on, put it in Cartesian form, which doesn't take too long. Okay, so your turn to have a go at this question here then. It's the shortest distance between the point 4, 1, minus 1 and this line here. Pause the video and try this one out. Alright then, so I think first things first, and that will be to draw a diagram. So we've got point A here, we've got the point on the line here that will make our right angle. The point A is 4, 1, minus 1, and the vector equation of this line is going to be 3, minus 1, 2, plus lambda lots of 2, minus 1, minus 1. So that means that this coordinate here, I'm going to give it a specific coordinate, I'm going to call it P. P it, given that P is somewhere on this line, it must have the coordinate 3 plus 2 lambda, minus 1 minus lambda, and 2 minus lambda. Okay, so P must have that coordinate there. And what we're going to look for now is the direction for how we get from A to P. So this is going to be 3 plus 2 lambda, minus 1 minus lambda, 2 minus lambda. So that's coordinate P, it subtracts coordinate A, 4, 1, minus 1. And simplifying this, we're going to get 2 lambda minus 1, and we're going to get minus lambda minus 2, and we're going to get um, 1 minus lambda. Okay, so that is how we get from A to P. That's the direction vector from A to P. Now what we need to do is we need to dot this with the direction vector on line 1. So line here. This is going to equal 0 because the two lines meet at a right angle. So this is going to be 2 lambda minus 1 minus lambda minus 2 and 1 minus lambda. Dotted with the direction vector of line 1, 2 minus 1 minus 1 and let's expand the brackets and set equal to 0 so 4 lambda minus 2 minus or plus lambda for the double negative and plus 2 uh, some more double negatives happening here uh, plus lambda equals 0 so let's go ahead and simplify this now we're going to have 6 lambda on this side here the 2's cancel each other out add the 1 onto the other side and you get lambda equals one sixth. Okay. Uh, all that's left for us to do now is find how we get from A to P, and we'll just substitute in lambda equals one sixth. This is going to be two sixths minus one, so that'd be minus four sixths. Um, minus one over six minus two, so that's going to be minus thirteen over six. And this one here is going to be 1 minus 1 over 6, that will be 5 over 6. So, all that's left for us to do now is work out this Pythagorean distance. So it's going to be 4 over 6 squared plus minus 13 over 6 squared plus 5 over 6 squared. And, just let me grab my calculator, so it's going to be the square root brackets, making sure you're all putting this in correctly, 4 over 6 squared plus bracket 13 over 6 squared plus 5 over 6 all being squared 
And we get a final answer of 2.4 2 2 to two significant to three significant figures. Okay, so there we are. That is the answer to this question here then. Right, so have a go at a few of the practice questions from exercise 9F, but I'm sure you'll want to get on to the next video um, that's going to cover the rest of exercise 9F. As I say, there are quite a few of them. We're going to break it up into short little sections. Um, so have a look and see if there are any questions in exercise 9F that you can try now. Thanks very much for watching.